Welcome back to Dark Blood's Garage. In the last episode, I finished torquing the bottom end. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up this bottom end here. We're gonna install the oil pump, the oil pump drive, the windage tray, as well as the oil filter holder. And this is gonna get torqued down to 65 foot-pounds. So one thing we're gonna do here is we've got to time the camshaft with the crank itself. So right now the crank's dot is upward and that basically means that our number one piston is at top dead center. So if our number one piston is at top dead center here, we have two options. We can either line up the bottom mark with the crank or we can do the exact opposite. Now I'd recommend doing the exact opposite if you know what you're doing. And the reason is, if we have a look at our intake and the exhaust lobes for the number one cylinder, they're currently at their lowest position. Our cylinder is at top dead center. This is cylinder number one, which means that this is currently at its compression stroke. If I continue to turn this camshaft clockwise, our exhaust valve begins to open up and that's this lobe over here. If we do the opposite direction, you would get the intake opening up. So the goal of this is to have it at its lowest point. That way we're ready for the next step when we bolt the heads on. It'll be much easier to begin doing the rockers starting from cylinder number one and continuing in the firing order. We begin by lubricating the camshaft surface which glides along that bearing. Try not to get any grease inside the threads because you gotta get Loctite in there. Put a little bit of Loctite on these bolts. Slide this on and torque these down to spec which is around 20 foot-pounds or you can kind of do it by hand. Camshaft bolts will also take some Loctite And then all these bolts get around 20 foot-pounds or hand tight if you got a good feel for them. So now we're just gonna prep the timing cover. It's pretty straightforward. They usually come with a set of rings, rubber O-rings over here, and a set of bolts. So all you're gonna do is press these in. Should be pretty easy. Once again, a small dab of silicone right along the bottom where the rubber seal meets. So before we install our harmonic balancer using our kit over here, we're gonna put a little bit of silicone right where the keyway sits and that'll help seal any oil coming out from there. So the first things first is we got to stop the rotating assembly from turning over. As we crank the installer, it's going to want to press the harmonic balancer in and at the same time rotate the entire assembly. So we want to prevent that. So I'm just going to wedge it with any tool that I've got here. Make sure everything is clean and we should be good. And before we install it, we're going to lubricate the seal surface on the harmonic balancer just to lubricate it so we don't damage it during install. I've bottomed this out now. The harmonic balancer basically butts up right against the sprocket. So once you reach that point, it should be nearly impossible to turn this thing over. So that's how you know you're set. Scare. 
And it's always a good idea to put a nice big bead of silicone right around this area because this is the area that's most known for leaking on shining covers. So once these things are all fastened down by hand, what we're gonna do is start tightening down from the center outward. This will help spread the gasket evenly. Next, we'll assemble the heads, but before we do that, I'm going to lap the valves using some lapping compound. Smear some of the compound along the valve where it seats along the valve seats of the head. Next, I'll use a drill on the other end of the valve and just simply spin. I'll apply some pressure on the valve up against the head while it's spinning, and I'll occasionally release the valve just to ensure that the compound is evenly dispersed. Now we just inspect the valve seat, and what you're looking for is an even clean strip around the valve. So to assemble these, I'm going to take the passenger head first. So we're just going to grab the corresponding valve, insert it. We're going to lubricate the top of the valve, and this is to prevent any damage to the seal itself as we slide it over. Now we're going to use a 12 mil socket just to smack it into place. You're going to get one of the springs and you're going to use a valve spring compressor. There's a couple different types. You can use pneumatic types, clamp on types. I, I have this one. This one just happens to do the job. Once the spring is in place, we're going to go ahead and put the keepers in. Now that both keepers are in place, we're going to release the tension on the spring. That about does it for the bottom end. In the next and final episode of this series, we'll finish installing the heads, paint the engine, and get everything ready to get shipped out. Thanks for watching.